All right, so the key to good airport snacking is planning ahead of time. Your food options in an airport are typically limited to vending machines, fast food, or the in-flight snack, which ends up just being wheat, soy, and canola oil packaged in different ways. Traveling is a big stress on the body and eating a bunch of food that you normally wouldn't is only going to make it harder to bounce back from your travels. To ensure I don't have to choose between starving or eating something that will upset my stomach, I pack a nice variety of snacks that are TSA friendly to make sure that I have plenty of healthy options that I know my body will appreciate. Typically, your options for airport eating are vending machines or fast food, and that kind of sucks. Um, you know, also you're dealing with flying, which, you know, if you're eating at altitude, it's actually a lot harder for you to digest properly, so that is, um, you know, something to think about as well. I don't actually, I actually don't like to eat when I'm in the air. I like to just make sure I have a really good breakfast or lunch or, you know, whatever meal I'm having before I fly. And then, um, you know, I like to pack snacks just so I don't have to worry about immediately trying to get to a store um, wherever I'm going. So, um, you know, that's kind of my planning ahead. Um, you know, obviously, like if I'm going from like California to the East Coast or something, I'm going to have to bring some snacks with me or something. But I try not to eat on the plane as much as possible. I like to try to make sure I'm bringing a mix of good protein, good carbs. Um, you know, so I kind of have everything I need in case I can't get to, like I said, can't get to a grocery store within, um, you know, that first night or wherever, you know, so that's just not something that I have to panic about after I'm dealing with a day of traveling. Um, so really the only thing that I ever plan to buy in the airport is a bottle of water. And other than that, I'm good to go. I pack all of my airport snacks the night before I leave. I've been eating raw carrot salad every day, so I'm bringing a bunch of shaved carrots with me so I can stay consistent with that. Carrots are a great source of undigestible fiber, which helps you stay regular after traveling, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm also bringing parm chips, which are a good source of fat and protein, some gluten-free granola made with coconut oil and real sugar, and organic fruit juice for a carbohydrate boost. Sticking with the theme of balancing carbs, proteins, and healthy fats, I'm also packing a couple of apples, honey butter for dipping, and a little charcuterie plate to go with some cheeses and organic turkey pepperoni. Here's a few more ideas of easily packable snacks that you can take through the airport. Just remember to pack foods that are balanced in carbs, protein, and healthy fats to keep your blood sugar stable, and foods that are calorie dense like cheese and butter to make sure you are adequately fueling your body throughout your day of traveling. My goal is always to bring enough food with me so that I don't have to worry about making a grocery store run my first stop after I get to where I'm going. I want to be able to settle in, relax, and still have enough healthy, familiar snacks to get me through my first evening of wherever I'm staying. Do you pack your own snacks when traveling? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Bye for now.